Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Do the Tutorials. Literally, I'm going to um, go over here to... Oh, sorry. If you don't know who I am, um, I'm Code Primate, Heath Haskins. I do, like, Roblox and scripting and all kinds of good stuff. But if you come over to um, Studio, you can go and, like, go make your own games and stuff like that. So what I thought... I've had a lot of requests to do tutorials on how to use Studio and stuff like that. I'm I'm okay, I'm good, but I'm not an expert. <clears throat> so I was thinking, how could I do tutorials and things for you to show to show you how to do things inside studio? So I thought, why not take you through literally the tutorials? And that's what we're going to do. So hopefully this is going to be a new series, new kind of twist on things. If you do a Google search for um, Roblox API, which is Application Programmer's Interface or Application Programming Interface, whatever you want to say, then you will find this. These are all the class references to all the items inside the game. If you want to see like a humongous dump of every single file or every single thing, you can actually look at the entire code API dump. That's not what we're going to do tonight. I just thought it'd be nice to point out if you have any trouble or difficulty with a particular item or you need to know what something does, you can always come over here and use it as a reference. It is a great place. You need to come check this out. If you've not seen it and you're trying to learn Studio, check this out. Okay, up here at the top, there is tutorials. Click on it, and it gives you keys about the tutorials. The green ones are the easy tutorials, the yellows are the medium tutorials, and the reds are the hearts. If you don't like reading, or if you're not very good or fast at reading, they do have a tutorial series on video, and these are great. I mean, if you don't know anything at all, and you don't have time to read, go check out the videos. So, <clears throat> let's just start at the very first one. Make a new game. And right here, it starts off creating a new level. You need to download studio, camera controls. Um, for the most part, I will just zip through what these are. Focus camera. You can always focus uh, page up, page down. Yes, yes, we know that. Okay, so let's just hide uh, that window for a second. I have loaded up my Code Primate Labs. So as you can see here, this is your main window right here. This is the viewing area of what the game looks like. And you can move around using the WASD. W is forward, S is back, A is uh, strafe left, D is strafe right. Um, if you hold right click on your mouse, you can turn around like that. And anything that you left click on is inside the world. So you can like drag stuff around or you can use the move tool and drag them by their axis, axi. I guess axis plural is still axis, right? Oh, maybe. Anyhow, that's what the world will look like. Well, it'll look like just a base plate whenever you first start, uh, unless you use like a template and then it, you can do other things. Besides the point, <laughs> let's head back over into uh, window capture and we're just gonna fade that back in. Let's see, uh, create a new part. Click on the part button to select a new part and you can select your type of part. You can choose, um, block, sphere, wedge, cylinder, stuff like that. Modifying the part, it tells you uh, the five, the four, three, these commands. You can do a move, like I was showing you earlier, where you're just moving along an axis. You can do a rotate, where it just rotates it on an axis, or you can size it in any particular direction. Uh, keep note that if it's in a model or a group of some kind, you're going to resize all of them at one time, and it's, it's all three axis, X, Y, and Z. Uh, color tool changes the color of the bricks. Materials change the materials themselves, so you can turn it into grass, neons, glass. Now that's a new option. Um, if you don't like selecting before making the change, blah, 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 blah. Um, whatever you like, if you don't change it, whatever the new part is that you create will be that material and that color that you chose previously. Um, you can choose toolbox and open it again. That's all the things on the left hand side that gives you uh, decals public items here I'll show you that uh, fade 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 so over here on the left hand side is where the toolbox would usually appear if you don't see it click on view and find toolbox boink right here oh gosh that's not anchored there we go and oh come here come here you can slide in between windows like this I forgot that I put dig dug on here team create Anyhow, like there's Cole's admin script, nice, stuff like that. I don't use 
Like I try to stay away from free models and I try and stay away from scripts that I didn't do myself just because I'm very weary of taking and putting something into the game that I don't know what it does because it could, it could be all kinds of trollish and I have seen them in here. So just be very, very aware that you might not use free models. All right, let's fade that back out. Do, 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 do. And here we go. Um, to start the game or to start playing the game, you can hit play. There's also a drop down menu where you can just play it without the avatar and it will start the game as if no player has been added. Um, to stop the script, stop the game, hit the stop, save frequently. This cannot be overemphasized. Save often because if you don't and you spent like three hours and Roblox is going through maintenance or something like that and it crashes on you, which by the way, it will crash. All right. It's not if it crashes, it's when it will crash. Make sure that you save very frequently, very often. And that's it. I, literally, that was it for number one. So tutorial one done. Make a simple tree. All right, it says for us too. And can I just push this off to the side? I, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to push this off to the side. Uh, we'll start by inserting a part into the, uh, in, blah, blah, blah. start by inserting a part, use it as the trunk of the tree. Press the part button and the home pass, blah, 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 blah. All right, switch over back over here. Fade, 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 fade. All right, back in studio. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because it's got extra scripts and stuff in there we don't want to mess with. So the first things first is it wants us to create a tree. So click on model, select parts, and then you can select block or since this is already selected, just click on part like that. Now we need to resize this. So quickly grab the resizing or scaling tool. We're gonna to bring this down to two by two. Um, in Roblox, everything is measured off a stud. A single stud is one by one, which looks like this. Uh, and that is your unit of measure. We don't know how big one by one is, but we could estimate it's it's probably like half a foot, maybe, maybe. So um, we'll start off by two by two. And it says to use the scaling tool, tool to make it narrow and tall. So um, I've used the X coordinates to make it even two by two. And now I'm gonna use the Y coordinates to make it tall. Yay, tall tree. I'll go a little bit taller than that. That's perfect. Um, the other thing is keep in mind about this stuff up here. Under the model, you have a check mark next to rotate five degrees and move one stud. I think this is supposed to be like 45 or something like that. That's its default. I like keeping it at five or lower just because it gives more precision. Um, the point of this is when I move, I'm actually moving one stud at a time. So right now it's a very even number. You can uncheck that and it becomes very dynamic. Like it's a point number in between those numbers. So instead of it being five studs tall, it could be 5.1, 4.9, 4.87632. It just depends on what it is. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo my move like that. And I'm gonna check that back. Just check real quick. Position is at 0.5. What was the size? Oh, by the way, this little window over here in the corner that my face is covering up. Sorry about that. Hold on. Can I fade my face out? Yeah, let's do this. Fade this out. This little bottom left-hand corner over here, it contains properties to the object that we're working with. So right now we're working with a class of part. And if we look at class name, part, name is part. I can change this to tree trunk. And if I don't like it there, Control Z, I can come up here and it shows which one's highlighted. So this over here corresponds to this. I can actually right click on this and do rename tree trunk, trunk, like that. Or I can press F2 on my keyboard while that's highlighted. Ta-da. So I'm just gonna hit escape. We're gonna leave it as tree trunk. I'm gonna throw my face back in there. Fade, 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 fade. All right. Uh, next, you're using a sphere for the top of the tree. Click the arrow under the parts button and select the sphere. So let's go up here to the parts button and we're gonna go sphere. Yay. So that is, as you can tell, it's not near it. 
So I'm going to uncheck the collision right here. And then I'm going to, wait, is it checked or unchecked? Uh, now it's unchecked. I'm going to select the move. Since we're moving by one stud, we should be even. All right, so if I tried to move this, it'd be like, boink. Oh, wait, that, that is working, because we're at two by two, and then this is a three, so one, two, three, like that. And then just like that, make sure it's nice and even. And then I'm going to pull this up to the top like this. And then uh, to scale it, I'm actually going to pull from the top, which should scale all sides. There we go. A nice little tree. Happy little tree. Okay. So it says to, oh, it said to pl place the ball on the ground. And then use the scale tool to drag uh, the green handle, which that's what we did. Uh, now move the sphere to the top of where blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can also do that by dragging, I think. So like drag, and that, that's not very, oh gosh. How do I just get on there? Okay, what if we come from the top? And it will take some getting used to. There we go. That was totally uneven. I mean, perfect. Control Z, 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 because I did have it centered in the first place. So, but you can you can drag and drop it to the top if you'd like. Uh, the next is to select the sphere, then use color and material tools again. You're going to change the sphere to green and the material to grass. So let's go up here and select green. That's dark green, sea green, parsley green, camo, forest green, bright green, earth green. Is there just a green green? That's lime green. Hmm. Mint, pastel. Laurel, uh, olivine, no, just green. Where's green? Can I just, there's grime, ugh, grime. All right, uh, for this particular one, I'm going to choose shamrock. No, I'm not, I'm going to choose that one, camo. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, this one? I'm trying to choose like the one that's closest to it. Forest green. That, sound, that sounds like a foresty color. Now we're going to change the material down to grass. Boink, like that. Oh, it looks so cool. Now we need to change the uh, bark itself. So we're going to change the material to a brown color. And down. And that's right there, that's perfect. And then we're going to change it to a wooden texture. So let's find wood texture. And that's what it looks like. A very simple tree. Um, by the way, a lot of Roblox games used to use this. And there's still a lot of games that still do. So there's there's no harm in actually making a tree that looks like this. Uh, a lot of you are out there going, Man, code, that looks so simple. It's, it's just so, so nice. And then there's a lot of you going, Really? You're not going to make like something awesome? Yeah, these are just the tutorials. And I want you to know that any tree that you make, doesn't matter if it's like this or if it's elaborate like the end times tree down in the end times biome on Lumber Tycoon 2. It doesn't matter because whatever you make, you made it and be proud of it. All right, let's go over here. Um, one last thing. I want to make sure that you guys know about Anchored. So right now, if we were to just play the game, F5, we jump into the game. This thing is not anchored, so I can... I can knock it over, basically, maybe. Okay, if I could, oh, there it goes. See that? Okay, so stop. And what we're gonna do is we're going to anchor it down. <laughs> so, select this part. Uh, you can actually select both parts at one time. Hold control to select multiple parts. Um, if you're dragging like this, you can actually grab a whole mess load of parts, uh, which we don't want to do. But, I mean, it's good for, like, selecting a whole bunch of stuff at one time. Or areas of things. So, select the top one. Hold control. Select the bottom one. We now have two. I'm going to hit control G to group these together. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit the anchored button. Boop. That way, both of those items, both those objects are anchored to the ground. They're not going to move. 
Now, if I wanted to put these together in a model, I'm going to hit Control G. That sums them up into one model. So now I don't have two parts for one thing. I have a one part for all things. And we'll get deeper into that later. Uh, the model itself, give it a mean, meaningful name. So simple tree, done. And that's our neat little tree. And we can store that later if we want to. Uh, size it up and down, move it around. If you want to duplicate or copy something, Control D. You can have two of them. You can just drag them out, Control D, do that again. Happy little trees, fun little trees. And there you go. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hold Control, and I'm going to just hit Delete, get rid of these. I think that's it for number one. Uh, you may notice when playing the game that the tree at the top of the sphere can easily be pushed by the character to make sure that it doesn't move. Select the sphere on the top and select the anchor button. Okay, that's exactly what I did. Thank you, Roblox. Tutorial two, complete. And I'm going, wait, where did you go? Get in there, get in, get inside. Okay, uh, move, move. Do, 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 do. Every model that I, I make off the tutorials, I'm just going to slap it in here. Unless it's the really big one, like the windmill, which we'll get to in just a little bit. There we go. By the way, this is Code Primate Labs. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but this is where I would come to do the um, live streams and show you guys how to script and make things. Basically, you guys were requesting me to do something, so I did. All right, let's head back over and do, 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 window capture, fade that back in. Um, make a door. Boink. Worried 17 minutes into the game. All right, let's read through the instructions real quick. Um, structures in Roblox do not have to be static. Uh, Roblox Physics Engine allows you to make many types of removable structures and blah, 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 blah. What it's basically talking about is hinges. So we'll talk about hinges in just a second. It says to make a frame of the door. Start by making a simple frame. I didn't say simple at all. Uh, use the part tool in each part of the frame. Scale it to size. All right, make it look like that. Good. I love pictures, by the way. Uh, next, we're going to have to have a part for the hinge, the hinge, blah, 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 one by one by one. At the bottom of the frame, make sure that this it is one stud away from the edge of the frame. So let's hide this and make that happen. Um, window capture, fade, fade, fade. There we go. And let's go. So first things first, I'm going to select the dot, drop down right here, make a part. Oh, it's still defaulted in. So let's move this back into like a white color. And yeah, wood's fine. We can leave it as wood, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and scale this down. We're gonna have one. Uh, how deep is this? One, two, whoops, whoops, one, two, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's 10. I'm going to duplicate that, Control D. I'm gonna select move, and I'm gonna move this one up. I don't know how tall it's going to be yet, but we will find out here in just a second. And that, uh, eyeballing it, that looks good. I'm going to hold shift, hit control D. I'm going to hit rotate and I'm going to pull this to the right. Oh gosh, come here. Oh no, what happened? All right, control Z. All right, no, nope. there we go. Grab that, grab that and control D. And now I'm going to rotate it like this. Why? Because now I can just move these two pieces and get my frame. So hit the move button again. Do, 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 do. Down and then scale. There we go. We could do the same thing on this side, but I've already got one. So I'm going to just delete that. And then right here, I'm going to hold control D and then move. And I'm just going to move that in place. Perfect. Like that. So we have a nice little door frame and um, these parts have been attached or joined. If you look, as you start moving, do you see the, the little highlight areas at the top and the bottom? That means, hey, I'm going to join to this part uh, and it, it will join, I think. Hold on, let's hit F5, run it. I think they're joined. You're joined? Oh no, you are not joined. Oh goodness, that's, that's horrible code. Why would you tell somebody that? Mm. Uh, okay, 
Let's hit these. Oh, I know why. Hold on. If I grab this, can I move it back and forth? There it goes. Now it's joined. I think. Okay. Let's do that again down here. All right, see how it got the two little dots? And that means it's going to join. And then this one, I can just move. Oops, oops, oops. Not like that. There we go. Now that should be joined to the top. All right, F5, try this again. And voila. No, it's broken. Whole thing's broken. Everything is broken. No, it's because I'm not using surfaces. So if we grab surface and we use glue bottom, and then we can use, oh wait, 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 is it studs? Studs down here. And then inlets up here like that. And then let's see, we would have to move this up and we're gonna have to put studs on the top of this one, studs and studs, and then move this, this and control, or was that shift? Hold on, that was shift. Guess I can hold control and shift. There we go. Now it's got a different highlighted color, which means that it's going to join. Grab this one, same thing. Good, now F5. Hopefully this works. I'd be so sad if it doesn't. Well, it kind of worked. Why did it not work at the bottom of that? Okay, try again. Uh, can we move this like that? Hmm, you, 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 come here. Oh, we forgot inlets. Surface, inlets at the bottom of this bottom of that. All right, go back to move. Now, if we move it down, it should turn blue. Boom, there we go, okay. So, fixing my mistake, I found it. F5, and fixed. Yay. Now, it's still not anchored, so let's go ahead and, um, let's see, hold shift, grab that one, control G, we're gonna group that into a model, and we're gonna call this one uh, let's see, F2, door, underscore, frame, and then, anchored. Oh, you have to select each one of the parts and anchor them. There we go, select anchored, just like that. So now they should not move. If I F5, oops, that was F6. If we hit F5, F6 will start the game where your camera's at and drop your character right there. So now it doesn't doesn't not drop. It stays in place, nice and stationary. Good deal. All right, stop. All right, what's what's the next part? It said to make a stud at the bottom, one stud away from the side. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've got eight on the inside. Let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine, so that is okay. So we're going to insert another part right here. Just drop it right there. And then I'm going to scale it one direction this way, and then two that way, and then one in like that. That's not going to stick because it does not have the uh, inlets and stuff. Which by the way, you can get rid of the inlets, the, like the look of them later on. And there are other ways that you can glue stuff together. So there's inlet. And then that should be it. Let's move this back down. Blue, sweet. All right, now that we've got that on there, let's head back over to the OBS. I'm going to grab view, fade. There we go. Uh, next, we put the two parts that hold together the hinge one by one by one. Great. And now um, click the surface tool and you're gonna select the top of the one by one by one and put on hinge. Uh, now we'll make a hinge for the top of the door which is one by one by one, okay. So basically that's, wow, that's an old tutorial, isn't it? Finishing touches, okay. 
Yeah, that's a that's a lot. I'm not sure that I want to go that far into it. That's fine. Okay, let's keep going. So, um, window capture. Fade this out. Head back over to studio, and we're going to select the surface tool and hinge. Place the hinge right there. Perfect. Now, instead of us doing that whole thing again, I'm gonna go back over here to move, and I'm going to click on the part, control D, which duplicates the part. We're going to rotate it by Thank you for the subscribe. I don't think it notified, but thank you. That was the sound for uh, subscribers. Um, I want to put this up to 45 degrees. It makes turning parts a cool breeze. There we go. Uh, the other thing I want to do, I want to change this to a stud, right? Yeah, stud. And then we'll move that straight up like so. Blue, attached. And you'll see the little word join. All right, so those should be joined and attached. Good. Uh, dragging a small part under the tunnel can be tricky. Um, try the move tool instead of dragging. That's a great, great idea. And now it says we need to make a um, actual door part. So let's go ahead and just grab here. If we hold Alt, we should be able to grab just one part. I'm gonna go Control D to duplicate this one part. I'm gonna pull it out and we're going to rescale this. Down one, like that, and up one, like that. Scale it out like this. Okay, you may notice some things, like some major gaps, but that's okay. Uh, this one part right here is actually the door face, so let's hit F2 over here and call it door, actual door. Um, as far as these two, we can call this one hinge or top hinge, top hinge, and this bottom one, bottom hinge, bottom hinge. By the way, you really shouldn't have spaces in the name because it makes it harder to find it later on. Um, there is a way around that with the fine, fine child and quotation marks, but just letting you know. Uh, in this part itself, door needs to be unanchored. And the reason why is when we walk through it, it's going to swing. Yay! Now, it doesn't go like too far into details on the other stuff, but it does say to clean it up a little bit. So, uh, one thing to note will be the back side of this. As it swings open, you want to make sure that it's not going to hit the other side otherwise it will stop the rotation so let's hit stop we're going to get detailed with this turn off the uh the move now we're going to squish this up like that wow that is that is close all right same thing with here squish this down good now, if we select the door itself, we should be able to get it just right. There we go. This way it attaches, but there's just this tiniest of gaps right there. Uh, same thing for the top. Nice and easy and good. Should have a teeny tiny gap. Teeny, teeny tiny, so small. And now, same thing for this side. Uh, by the way, I'm still holding Alt to grab onto the uh, the door itself. And we do not want to attach. Oh, it look, looks like the top did attach. Did you see that? When I grabbed this one, see the blue? That blue line, dark blue? I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. So it un undoes its attachment. Same thing on this side. If it attaches, I've gone too far. There we go. We'll leave it right there. Perfect. So, um, instead of me moving the door over and then having to readjust that side, I'm actually going to take this. We're going to turn those moves back on. Pull this one. Ooh, nope. It's not going to work because it's going to hit. Same thing with the top. Pull this over one. Same thing with the bottom. 
hold alt, pull this over one, got it. All right, let's select the door again. Door again. And turn off move. For this side, I'm gonna go just past, so there's a little bit gap. All right, F5. Let's run it, let's test it, let's see what it does. Hopefully, nope, this is what I was talking about. Like it, it's, it's not able to open up all the way because it's getting stuck. Right there. See how the wedges come together and get stuck? Now, we could put a no collide right there and cheat, but we're not going to. Let's move this in just a little bit closer. Ugh. And since we're since we're here, let's go ahead and move these in. That'll give us a little bit more thin of a thin door. Or the illusion of a thin door. There we go. And oh, are the hinges showing? Don't let the hinges show code. Oh, the hinges are showing. No. There we go. But it works. There we go. Simple door. Simple hinges. Now, uh, just so you know, you do not need both hinges. It's kind of an overkill to have two hinges. Um, just one hinge will work. Uh, to demonstrate, let me go ahead and kill one of the, the hinges. This one here. No, come here. Come here, you. And delete. There we go. So, off we go. Boink. Still works the same. Um, they tell you this later on. I think uh, Luke Master... Build, builder Luke Master? Luke Master Build... Oh gosh, I've forgotten his name. I'm so sorry, Luke. Um, yeah, he teaches you how to do like a rotation door or a, a rotating door, which will have one hinge at the bottom and the whole thing rotates. So that, that one is really good tutorial. Anyhow, how far am I? Uh, how far in am I here? Let's go take a look. We are at 32 minutes, so I think that's a good spot to leave off. As far as uh, the tutorials for tonight, how far did we get in the tutorials? Just three? Yep, we did the top three. Making a new game, making a simple tree, making a door. If you'd like the link to those, I'll fade this back in here. Link. Fade, 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 fade. Um, the link itself is wiki, uh, W-I-K-I dot roblox dot com forward slash index dot php question mark equal or title equals all tutorials i will leave a link in the description down below don't forget to like comment subscribe down below if you like this kind of content and please let me know should i keep going should i make an entire series on like the the build did i explain it okay because this is not me doing my normal explanation of like how things work and everything but it is kind of breaking down into details of what i think is important Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. What's that thing I say at the very end when I'm clicking around? Oh, yeah. Outro.